We're supposed to protect our country, support our country, support our Constitution, and protect our Constitution. In this great chamber, we preserve our glorious inheritance, the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights. As President, I have no higher duty than to defend the laws and the Constitution of the United States. If you believe in justice, if you believe in freedom, if you believe in peace, then you must cherish the principles of our founding and the text of our Constitution. It's we will support, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. We believe in the American Constitution, and we believe in the rule of law. I stand before you today on the heels of a tremendous victory for our nation, our people, and our beloved Constitution. Beloved? It shouldn't surprise anyone out there that the Republican Party, now being headed up by Donald Trump, hasn't said a thing about Donald Trump's Twitter, excuse me, um, Truth Social post about where he wants to end our Constitution just to get back into power. I want to read you this article by, by Kenny Stessel. GOP silence on Trump's call to cancel Constitution shows full embrace of fat of fascism, warns House Democrats. Repeating his thoroughly disproven claim that the 2020 election was stolen, former President Donald Trump called Saturday for discarding the U.S. Constitution and to overturn his defeat. In response, pro-democracy pro, pro advocates argued that Trump's comments and other recent actions and the refusal of the GOP the lawmakers to denounce them are reflective of the Republican Party's growing support for right-wing authoritarianism. Now, you are right now. My last video, I talked about the um, the the uh, truth post that he put up. So I'm not going to go into that. This is I'm just showing you here. As CNN reported, Trump's post came after the release of its own Twitter emails showing deliberation in 2020 over a New York Post story about material found on Hunter Biden's laptop. Employees on Twitter, Twitter's legal, legal policy and communications terms debated and times disregarded over whether to restrict the article under the company's hacked materials policy, the news outlet it noted. The debate took place weeks before the 2020 election when Joe Biden, Hunter Biden's father, was running against then President Trump. The administration of President Biden, who defeated Trump more than by more than seven million votes and seventy-four electoral college votes, quickly responded in a statement rebuking Trump's Trump. White House spokesperson Andrew Bates said, and I quote, the American Constitution is a sacrosanct document that for over two hundred years has guaranteed that freedom and the rule of law prevail in our great country. The Constitution brings the American people together, regardless of party and elected leaders swear to uphold it. It is the ultimate monument of all Americans who have given their lives to defeat self-serving despots that abuse their power and trouble on fundamental rights. Attacking our Constitution, is an, and all it stands for, is an anthem to the soul of our nation. It should be universally condemned. You can't love um, only love America when you when you win. Unquote. By contrast, Representative Representative Dave Joyce, Republican Ohio, told ABC's This Week anchor George Stephanopoulos on Sunday that Trump's post conveying his support for overthrowing the Constitution was not a deal breaker. The twice impeached president officially launched his 2024 campaign last month. Quoting Ian Joyce, I will support whoever the Republican nominee is. Now, Joyce is a, the chair of the Influential Republican Governance Group. When Stephanopoulos expressed the disbelief that he would support a candidate who came out for suspending the Constitution, Joyce said, and I quote, 
He says a lot of things. They can't really be chasing every one of these lazy statements that come out about, about any about any form, any of these candidates at the moment. Pushing back again, Stephanopoulos asks, and I quote, you can't come out against someone who's for suspending the Constitution? Joyce responded. He says a lot of things, but that doesn't mean he's ever going to ha- it's ever going to happen. So you've got to separate fact from fantasy. And fantasy is that we're going to suspend the Constitution and go backward, unquote. Joyce's remarks are symptomatic of the Republican lawmakers' refusal to censor Trump who remains the de facto leader of the party, even after his backing of the election deniers weakened the GOP's midterm performance, and despite his increasingly open impeachment for autocracy and bigotry. Now, this is Representative Bill Parcell Jr., Democrat of New Jersey, who tweeted this on Sunday. Last week, the leader of the Republican Party had dinner with a Nazi leader and a man who called Adolf Hitler great. Of course, he's talking about uh, white nationalist and Holocaust denier Nick Fuentes and anti-Semitic Semitic, former greatest rapper Kanye West, or ye, easy, ye, 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 ye. Yesterday, Trump called for the throwing out of the Constitution and made himself a dictator. Republicans fully embraced the fascism, I'm sorry, the fascism, of this of the story. Just days later, Trump reiterated his support for the right far right insurrectionists who participated in the January 6, 2021 attack on the United States Capitol, saying in a video played during a fundraiser that unconstitutionally, in my opinion, and very, very unfairly, and we're gonna to get to the bottom of it. And you know what I've said, I take it very seriously. I have never seen anything like it at all levels. It's the weaponization of the Department of Justice, and we can't. Trump claimed earlier this year that he was financially supporting some of the January 6th defendants and said that if elected, he would look very, very favorably at full pardons for those being prosecuted. More than 950 people have been charged so far, including two leaders of the far-right Oath Keepers Militia, who were convicted last week of seditious conspiracy. In the immediate aftermath of Trump's failed coup, 147 congressional Republicans voted to averse Biden's victory. In an essay published Saturday, historian Heather Cox Richardson wrote that that Trump's social media post, quoting her, I seems to reflect desperation from the former president and his political star as his political star fades and the many legal suits preceding him get closer and closer to their end dates. But the real story here is not Trump's panic about his fading reverence as his, and his legal exposure. It the, is that Trump remains the presumptive presidential nominee for the Republican Party in 2024. The leader of the Republican Party has just called for the overthrow of our fundamental law and the installation of a dictator. Republicans so far are silent on Trump's profound attack on the Constitution, the basis of our democratic government. This is the story, and it is earth shattering. Trump decided to post this at the time of this video, I was making this video to try and explain away his words on Truth Social. And I quote, the fake news is actually trying to convince the American people that I said I wanted to terminate the Constitution. This is simply more disinformation and lies of just like Russia, 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 and all the other hoaxes and scams. What I said was that there were, was a massive widespread fraud and deception and has been inevitably proven in the 2020 presidential election. Steps must be taken then to right the wrong. Only fools would disagree with that and accept stolen elections, MAGA. What exactly did you prove, Trump? After numerous recounts and numerous investigations, it has been found that there was no fraud on the Democrat side when it comes to to um, to the election. 
In fact, there is evidence showing that you personally and members of your party tried to steal the election for you. The phone call from George Raffensperger, for example, to, I'm sorry, to Raffensperger, just for, by way of an instance, him at you asking to find thousands of votes that will swing the election back to you. Not to mention that we're seeing more and more and more evidence out of Georgia showing that people are inv were involved in trying to steal the election for you. Let's focus on this little statement of yours real quick before I close out this video. You say that you didn't want to terminate the Constitution. Let's reread let's re that, that, that statement, for example. You said a massive fraud of this type and magnitude allows for the termination of all rules, regulations, and articles, even those found in the Constitution. What did we misinterpret about that, Trump? What do we misinterpret about it? Maybe you were running off at the mouth and talking out of your ass, and you were, it was too late to hit the, to hit the back button. But we know exactly what you meant, Trump. We know exactly what you said and what you meant. You meant that you want the Constitution stopped, all for the small sake of you getting back in power. You haven't proven anything. There is no proof. And if you're telling on Elon Musk to help you, he's just as whacked out and as stupid and as insane as you are. But here's the real point of this whole video. When is enough enough, Republicans? What does Donald Trump have to say and do for you to stop protecting him? Does he, as he said, this is Donald Trump saying this, not me, Donald Trump. Does he have to do exactly what he said in 2016, that he, that he can, I mean, it's gotten to that point that he can shoot somebody and get away with it. Is that what he has to do? Does he have to shoot one of your family members? Does he have to rape one of your daughters or sons if he swings that way? Does he have to go that far for you to stop protecting him? Enough is enough. And I'm going to say this, and I don't give a damn how bad it makes me sound. If you still support Donald Trump here and now, after this statement that was just released, you're no longer Americans in my view. You're no longer people who believe in the Constitution. Me speaking from personal experience, I have been ridiculed numerous times because they because because um people on Facebook say I don't support the Constitution. I do support the Constitution. All of it. The question is does Donald Trump and the Republican Party his statement should smack in you in the face and for anyone who still believes in democracy, who still believes in our constitutional republic. Note the use of that phrase, constitutional, as in constitution, as in our constitution, as in the United States Constitution. You support Trump, you don't believe in those things anymore, no matter how many times you want to real kill me and real kill Republicans. CTP, you know the truth. God bless. Peace to the left, justice to the right.